It's the city's latest weapon in the fight against crime, 84 feet long and 50 feet wide. A basketball court. It's worked elsewhere. And tonight, Local 12's Angela Ingram looks at the impact Cincinnati's new police chief hopes it will have here. A game of hoops with the police chief is a rarity for most kids. Go, man. Soon, boys and girls will have a chance to join the police department's Hoops Hearts Hope program. It's a learning character-based program where we use basketball as the hook, really. It's the common language in many urban cities throughout the country. Chief Jeffrey Blackwell started a similar program when he worked in Columbus. The city saw a drop in gang-related crime. He says the Cincinnati model is a broader version. And it's sustainable and it has a lot of meaning to it for the character, integrity, and leadership ingredients that we're infusing into the program. If you have a child that's hanging outside and there's nothing for them to do, they can only get in mischief all the time. So coming inside this building and some organized organization skills and programs here, I think it works out tremendously for them. For 10 weeks, children like Xander Wynn can sharpen their hoop skills while interacting with positive mentors. It's just a lot of fun and you can be excited and I'm really competitive, so, and so it's a really good so people will be on the positive side instead of the negative side. The chief says the sooner you can reach young children, the less likely they are to take the wrong path. We want young people to understand that we're human beings, just like them, that we care about them, and that we're here for a far deeper purpose than to just take people to jail and enforce laws. In the West End, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Tomorrow is the last day to register your child in the program. We have a link to our website, to on our website rather, for the application. Go to local12.com, click on the red Get It button. That'll take you there. Neat program.